Hello there, my beautiful Pisces friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, we have the full moon gracing our skies on September the 17th. This full moon is in the sign of Pisces. It's also known as the super harvest blood moon. Now, this is not only a super moon, but it's also a partial lunar eclipse. It's very fascinating. And because this moon is closer to the earth, we're going to feel the effects of it a little bit more intensely. So some of you might find that you have increased emotional sensitivity or you're finding yourselves kind of working with your shadows because they're surfacing at this time. This is also an energy of the werewolf because of those shadows surfacing. So just be mindful that maybe there's people out there that are acting a little bit out of sorts. It's just the full moon's energy. It's not them. It's the energy. Keep yourselves grounded and have some healthy boundaries up. Now, Pisces is an intuitive, a very dreamy sign. Spirit is asking us to be open and receptive. Some of you might be receiving intuitive downloads at this time, but also experiencing vivid dreams, waking up in the middle of the night at angel number times, maybe at 3.33 a.m., 4.44 a.m., or other times of the night. Mark these down because I do feel there's messages coming through for you. All right, so I'm going to actually open your reading today with an animal spirit card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. And then I'm going to pull a surrender card. What is it that you can surrender and release at this time? And then a healing message. It's always nice to receive a healing message. And we're going to close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Pisces, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to know around this full moon energy. So we are getting for you, my friends, dolphin. Have any of you seen a dolphin? This is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. So the message is find wisdom in moments of fun and laughter. Take time out to have fun and just go with the flow. So once again, find wisdom in moments of fun and laughter. Take time out to have fun and go with the flow. So look at that. Pisces, dolphin spirit here, everyone. All right, let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. So we are getting here nine of swords. So there's something that you have kind of surrounded yourself with here, Pisces, some sort of thoughts or words. I feel these are playing around in your head. This could be stories or scenarios. Maybe you made them up. Perhaps someone said something to you. It's been bothering you for a little while. Spirit is asking you to release and let go of it all. Clear your mind here, Pisces, and allow yourself to move forward from whatever this is that's being stringed along. Okay, so the Nine of Swords here. We have the Judgment card. There's some sort of a breakthrough, something big that is going to ha uh, happen in your life. It feels like the trumpet or the alarm is sounding. So trumpet sounds. Um, I'm getting you surrounded by angels. Perhaps something happens that was really intense in your life where you experienced a breakthrough and all of a sudden you saw support coming in. This is really powerful, whatever this card uh, card's energy is for some of you. So the Judgment card is a major arcana card. The energy is prominent, but it's in the background. So some of you might feel this energy intensely, while others you're going to feel this subtly. All right, so the Judgment card. We also have the Sun card. Intense energy of the Sun here. Source energy, everyone. You are being amplified at this time. Spirit is also calling you to shine your light in the world. Some of you are light workers. Some of you have something to share or express in the world. You're being asked to do that now. 
All right, so this is a secondary major arcana card, so there's definitely something big happening in your life. Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my reading today. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. This will strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that, Pisces. Beautiful energy here. I feel that spirit is sounding the alarm and redirecting you towards the sunlight. I feel this is what's going on here. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. So those of you that are seeing the numbers 9, 20 and 19 that's coming in as a confirmation that there's definitely something in this reading for you today also if you're seeing these numbers in different combinations or frequencies okay that's a confirmation now what is this nine of swords energy for you spirit is asking you to allow the light in so some of you're meant to actually open your curtains and allow the light to come into your home into the area that you're in right now. Maybe there is no sunlight there. Maybe you need to get outside into the sunlight or just get outside and get a breath of fresh air just to release whatever pent up energy that you have at this time. I'm picking up on a dark cloud over you. I'm picking up also on a closing of something and allowing yourself to move on. I feel that some of you are holding yourself um, in a position in an energy that you are choosing to be in because of some sort of an experience, uh, something someone said, you're kind of holding on to it, not moving, wanting to move forward, um, getting past it. It's like you're, you don't want to get past it because you have something to say or some sort of feeling because something was left unsaid. I don't know what this is. It's definitely unsettling. It's not making you feel good, Pisces. Spirit is asking you to release whatever this is because it's actually affecting how you're now going to experience your life. I do feel that some of you may have had words exchanged or you just don't like the energy of someone. Maybe it's a few people. Maybe you experience different kinds of energies over the course of your life. I'm getting bullies coming in. And what I'm getting here is maybe you had an interaction with someone and it didn't go in the way that you would have liked or it wasn't positive. And what's happening here is you're thinking about it over and over again. Uh, maybe you're thinking of another way it could have gone. Maybe you could have said something different. Um, so there's all these kind of stories that aren't real floating around in your mind around something. Or this could be like stress about something that you're worried about that has to do with your future. So Spirit is letting you know that the more energy that you put into this thought, Pisces, the more of this energy you're going to create in your reality. So they want you to kind of poof, get rid of it and replace it with something positive, something that you're working towards, something that is tied to your dreams and your desires. Let's look forward and release these swords, these words that you're holding on to. You basically created a block around you, right? So block means this block for the nine of swords feels like there's things that you um, believe or things that you have chose to kind of solidify in your life that might not be true, but because you had an experience with it in a certain way, it's now tied to that experience and you're not open to seeing it another way. So you're almost blocking yourself from actually experiencing it a different way. This could be a person, maybe the first time you met them, they came across a certain way. So now you've put this mask on them as that version of them. But maybe you're hearing other people letting you know that, oh my gosh, that's the most nicest person I've ever met. And you're like, wait a minute, what? I had, didn't have that experience. So it could be vice versa. Maybe you're finding someone to be really nice, but there's other people saying something different about them. So I'm getting a lot of worry here, a lot of energy that you're putting into some thoughts around something specific around maybe communication or something that was spoken to you, some sort of an interaction with somebody um, that you need to release and let go of. And with the full moon in Pisces right now, Pisces, some of you are going to feel this energy of this full moon more, some of your empaths, you're gonna feel this energy of others more towards you. So it's really important that you don't hold on to things release them, allow them to evaporate, allow them to dissolve. I feel that this, these swords around you is a boundary that is now dissolving between you and the universe, 
right? It's now starting to melt away and you're meant to connect because there's so many powerful energies at play right now. And you're meant to actually be free to experience what it is that you're wanting to experience in your reality. All right. And we've got the judgment card. So some of you are going to have a judgment moment in your life, a judgment day, whatever that is. Some of you already experienced it. This is where, where the horns are sounding, alarms are sounding, and perhaps spirit is showing you an opening here. All of a sudden something happens and you have to look the other way or look in a direction through a different perspective, through a different lens. And it's allowing you to, first off, you're awakening in this, but it's allowing you to look at something through a different um, understanding. Maybe someone comes in and shares something with you about a certain person. Um, and it opens you up to, oh my gosh, I've never experienced this person or didn't know this thing about this person. So there's a breakthrough happening here because now this is going to change your relationship with this person. And the other thing I'm picking up here is something, some sort of an event happening in your life that is going to change the direction that you start to move. It's shifting everything for you. And what's coming in is sunlight, radiance, excitement and joy, a lot of success and growth, expansion, right? Clarity is, as well through the sun card. So there's something profound happening in your life that is enlightening you, that is allowing you to wake up to something that means something to you of importance. I don't know what this is going to be. What I'm seeing here are feathers. I don't know if any of you have been seeing feathers, kind of chunks of feathers falling in front of you. These are white feathers that I'm seeing. They could be ostrich feathers because they look really big. So maybe you're seeing ostrich feathers or white feathers around you at this time. This is coming in um, as a confirmation that there's angels around you is what they're saying. And I feel that maybe it looks like angel feathers fell off from their wings, right? This is, and those of you that are finding piles of feathers, um, I feel that's a sign that there was an angel there letting you know that you're, you're safe and you are protected by angels. Um, now I'm getting something like a near death experience, something to do with weather or a lightning bolt, um, changing your life in a really quick moment here. Um, what is this? This is really interesting. This could be weather related. I'm getting something in the weather with the clouds, like storms, surges of lightning, electricity here. So maybe you're in an area right now where you're experiencing a lot of different weather kind of happening here. Storms, changes all of a sudden, like weather fluctuating, but in an extreme way. This is coming in as a sign that there is a shift entering. There's a major energetic shift happening here with the judgment card for you, Pisces. And some of you have actually initiated some sort of a change or transformation in your life, some sort of a judgment day. That was your judgment day where you chose to take action around something. And that has started the ball rolling around some sort of transformation that you're meant to go through but also changes in your life right and you're in alignment right now there's a powerful energy of alignment so as you're moving through this shift and change spirit is bringing in the right kind of people the right kind of experiences the right opportunity uh, in order for you to kind of pull yourself out of whatever it is that you're in right now. I'm getting someone who's mangled up in something. What is this being mangled up? Maybe this is why you're worried or stressed. You have to release this energy, right? And I feel it's coming to a conclusion. There's something completing, something closing out here with both of these cards together. So it's opening you up to this beautiful, bright energy. It's connected to the sun. It's connected to source. It's connected to your higher power. You are being enlightened. You're able to see things, understand things, know things. It's kind of like when you shine a light out of a diamond and it reflects outward, right? You see a lot of light going this way and that way. You're able to see this way now. It's putting on different lenses and understanding situations in different ways and scenarios, right? So what I feel is happening is whatever these swords are, are actually meant to be channeled into something that is actually going to work for you. So it's all about reversing these energies. You know, there may be fear here for some of you. So this is the year you're meant to turn your fears into your greatest strengths and shine that light because what's happening here is spirit is calling you to work with your dark and your light energies. Um, you know, build a healthy relationship with those, you know, learn to work with your light and then your dark because you have benefit of both, right? 
When I make music, I tap into my darker energy. And when I create music, it comes out so dark, but so good. And I feel that there's channels and ways that you can actually shine some of these things that might be pent up within you into something that is productive, perhaps even creative, that works for you. And this is going to allow you to grow in your life. This is gonna allow you to be open and actually see happiness, love, and abundance in your life, right? It's where you're like, wow, I can't believe that this place or this reality actually exists. And they want you to hold that vision. They want you to hold that frequency, right? Not getting back into that old rut, of having too many thoughts in your head, giving energy to unnecessary things in your life, right? You're growing here, you're elevating, and you're going to experience a lot of good health here as well. I feel some of you may have been worried about something perhaps you think, or maybe there's some sort of a diagnosis, but it's not confirmed. And all of a sudden, it's turning out to be better than expected. This is what I'm getting here. Some news coming in that might not have felt good in the moment. Maybe there's worry around it, around something, but it turns out to be the better. Um, and then I'm getting somebody that had a prayer that wasn't answered, but you're looking back at it and you're so thankful and grateful. It didn't happen because where you are now is much better than where you had asked to be. So things are working out in the way that they're meant to in your highest good. You're aligned to your purpose at this time as well, Pisces. So allow yourself to release any kind of energies that might be holding you back. It's time for you to shine your light. If you're feeling that you're not feeling the light, I feel sometimes what happens is, some of the thoughts and things that we have in our minds, if we, you know, you can't get rid of these thoughts right away, right? You have to practice. You have to be aware when you're thinking these thoughts. And through practice, you're going to get really good at it, Pisces, right? It's almost like someone puts a blanket on top of us. And all you have to do is take that blanket off. And maybe we feel cold and we put the blanket back on. But then it's like, oh, wait, it's actually not that cold. I'm getting like fluctuations in your um, body temperature here. Pisces, so you might be feeling um, your body kind of changing here and there. Uh, maybe this has to do with um, tempers. I don't know, someone's um, temperament. That's what's coming up here, some sort of a temperament. I don't know if any of you have just adopted a dog that has brightened your life, but there's something that has come into your life that has brightened your day, brightened your life, Pisces. And I feel that you actually brought this light into your life and now you're going to experience that your days are becoming brighter. Spirit wants you to rise up for yourself every single day just the way the sun rises for us every single morning. You're given a brand new day every single day. So they want you to wake up chasing that happiness, chasing that excitement and joy. And even if things do come in and you find yourself worrying, catch yourself worrying, become aware and let's pull this energy away and focus on the light. They're really wanting you to bring that light into your life. And I'm getting, um, so we've been having solar flares. The, sol the sun has been really active. We're getting blasts of uh, light. We're getting blasts of um, energy that is upgrading our DNA. And what I'm feeling is there is a bridge that is being built um, spiritually here. I feel this is like the rainbow bridge, but what's, it's, it's connecting us to our ancestors. It's connecting us to a higher power. And I feel you're finding different ways to actually connect to this energy through the light radiating through you in those different directions, just like a diamond. And Spirit is saying that you're going to shine bright like a diamond here, Pisces. Allow yourself to shine bright like a diamond. I'm getting someone told that they're um, a diamond in the rough. I don't know if anyone has said that to you. Pisces, but I'm getting someone, or maybe you feel like you're a diamond in the rough and you're kind of polishing yourself off right now and you know that you're going to shine really bright. It's because you're gathering everything and maybe there's worry around it. I don't know. Are you worrying about it? Maybe it's not happening fast enough. Release that energy. When we put strings of time constraints or anything, any kind of seed or doubt around our desires, we're basically slowing it down from happening, right? You have to let it go freely into the universe, allow it to work its magic, and then come back with the abundance that you have put out in the, into the universe, like the energy, right? So a lot of beautiful things, a lot of growth, a lot of expansion in your life. Spirit is wanting you to be in this present moment and enjoy 
uh, everything in your life, everything that you are surrounded by, enjoy it, love it, right? And you're going to see how the world actually turns into this beautiful place for you, this beautiful energy that you get to experience. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a bonus card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle and read you the interpretation. So it looks like we've got a card that wanted to come out. We are getting deep quiet, meditation and stillness, deep purple. Some of you might be resonating with the color of this card or the image of this card. And we also have the number 11 here. This is a master number. Intuition, everyone, spirituality, awakening, beginnings. This is an opening for you right now. Something big is happening and you're entering this new energy that you get to actually work with, um, get to know. So meditation, stillness, and clarity. When deep quiet appears, it is a message from the cosmos calling you to stillness, to step outside the concerns of your everyday life. This does not mean to slow down and take a breath, although that is a good start. The cosmos is inviting you to go deep, to take that place where the noise stops and there's only the vast emptiness of inner space. When we don't respond to the invitation offered by deep quiet, Life can stop us in our tracks with an illness or a crisis. Listen to the still, small voice. Remember that you want to catch spirit on a whisper, not a shout. And it, it is only human to argue that you are too busy to slow down, that you don't have the time, the inclination, or the money for a retreat. Do not let any of these reasons get the better of you. Stop the world and enter the deep quiet before you come to a crashing halt. And that's that judgment day that's coming in, right? So after you have said yes to this invitation, you will find that the world can get along quite well without the need for you to manage it. You will enjoy the freedom that comes with stillness, the clarity and spaciousness offered by the silence. So it's time for some deep quiet in your life here, everyone. And perhaps in that deep quiet, let's release what no longer serves us and allow ourselves to move forward in that light. All right, so let's go ahead now and pull a surrender card and see what it is that spirit wants you to surrender or release in your life. So we are getting for you here, Pisces, surrender frustration. Any of you frustrated? It's time to surrender that frustration. The message here is frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. So once again, frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a deep breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. All right. Now let's go ahead and pull a healing message for you. What is it uh, that you need to hear around healing? Pisces, we are getting for you, my friends. Embrace your individuality. And some of you might be seeing a hedgehog in your life. This is a confirmation today for you. So embrace your individuality. We've got the number six on this card. Some of you might be seeing the number six somewhere in your life. Those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 11 to six days, 11 to six weeks, and 11 to six hours around the message of this card. Just be yourself, Pisces. You are beautiful as you are. The world needs you and your special gifts and talents. Once again, just be yourself. You are beautiful just as you are. The world needs you and your special gifts and talents. And there's an affirmation on this card. Feel free to use this. I am lovable just the way I am. I am lovable just the way I am. So look at that. I love that for you today. All right, let's go ahead and pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting here 888, karma. If you're seeing these numbers, this is a confirmation of this message for you. So a lot of money is coming your way, Pisces. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take, a personal, take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. So we've got some keywords that might resonate for some of you. Balance, Spirit is asking you to balance your life, your finances, success, wealth, cycles. What goes around comes around. So that's karma, everyone. Eight is a very powerful number. You're getting it in threes right now. Lots of power coming your way, Pisces. 
All right, everyone, we have some brand new Magic Intention candles in stock here. This is a new collection. It's called Golden Luster. These are made by my sister-in-law, Katomi. I've got links for these in the description box below. Now, there's only a limited supply, so if you're interested in these, grab them while they're available. These are perfect for setting intentions. They come with a stone, right? And uh, they're great as a Christmas gift, as a birthday present, and you can use these anytime you like throughout the year, right? So these ones smell absolutely amazing. When I light these, the entire house smells. So I absolutely love these. So again, the links for these are in the description box below. Hey, my beautiful friends, I'm so happy to announce that we now have memberships available on my channel. So those of you that have been looking to support me, my channel and my work, you can now do so by becoming a member of this channel. As a member, you get perks. Some of those perks right now on the level one scale are custom badges and emojis that I made myself for all of you to use. All right, and there's more levels incoming over the next little while here. But first, we've got the level one, which is the beautiful friends at $2.99. So if you're interested in supporting me, this is a really good way to do that. So I'm looking forward to see where we could take this community. I'm so grateful and thankful for all of you because without you, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much, everyone. So this is your reading, this is your message. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.